It's a binge compilation. It's a binge compilation. What a glorious feeling to sit and watch this nonsense. Long overdue request, but... It's Gore XD time! Anxiety about dandelions, please, Goat? Imagine blowing on a dandelion, but something flies up your nose last minute, and you end up inhaling the whole thing! Thanks, I hate it! I think I just washed and rinsed my face with mouthwash. I am sorry, you think? I'm going by scent here, but it's either that or the weird stuff you spray a sore throat with. Please explain yourself! It was purple and vaguely minty, my face is numb. I'm consistently impressed that despite all the fire hazards present in the average household, I have never once accidentally caused fire. That's the kind of life skill that goes on the CV right next to PowerPoint skills. So, it has recently come to my attention that I did, on single occasion, just one time, set the stovetop on fire when I was 11, and try to caramelize sugar for the profiteroles my mom didn't know I was making. For the record, one accidental fire is still pretty good track record. Can you please say something soft, warm, and comfortable? Mayhaps the shadows mean you no harm. Then drape around you like a well-worn cloak. They act as a blanket and swaddle even when- They act as a blanket and swallow even when light fails you. Do not fear the quiet shadows that shift from corner to corner, seeking only a soft place to settle. Let them creep into your room at night and sit mildly by your bedside, whispering you to sleep. That was... huh. If I die and scatter my ashes in the ocean, I want to haunt the fish. Uh, if? Yeah, just in case. God, reading your post feels like eating a banana. It's kind of tingly and itchy. It makes me very uncomfortable, but I also like it too much to stop. You are allergic to bananas. Are you uninformed loons really unaware that bananas aren't supposed to cause tingling and swelling sensations? Also, potatoes are not supposed to give you potato sweats, and pineapples aren't supposed to be spicy. I have very conflicted feelings about ice makers. I like that they make cold crunch water, but I hate the cunts jump scares. Same. How do you deal with your actions having consequences? I can't imagine it. To be honest, I spend the vast majority of my time dealing with the consequences of other people's actions. Hope I get around to mine someday. But the other actions piles just keep racking up! What if Bodes had emotions? Mine are always hungry. Today is spring cleaning and I have called the coat hanger a whore. Well... Was it being a whore? Well, it got tangled in a pile and nearly snapped my finger, so at the very least it was being a bitch. Update! I call the kitchen cabinet the C-word. <gasps> what are, like, other ways of referring to non-binary siblings? Other than just sibling? Ah, uh, Nuisance. Perfect. Feelings about ducks? They deserve to be rewarded for not being geese. Yeah, seriously. Question. Are you flammable? I'm asking for a friend. Anyone is if you're determined enough. Can you imagine how furious I was at the James Bond franchise when I found out scorpions and piranhas are not lethal? They're what? They're almost always not lethal I'm so mad! This ruined my day. You know what are the most fatally venomous creatures in the world? These little, little bitty fuckers. The blue ring octopus and cone snail. In conclusion, Bond villains are dramatic fools who value flair over efficiency. You want a dead secret agent? Tiny octopus is how you get a dead secret agent! Tumblr, thank you for informing me that one Bond villain has done this and her name was Octopussy because the James Bond franchise really will just do whatever. Jesus Christ, I forgot that was a name. Hey, Code, I'm leaving secondary school soon. Can you give me a yearbook quote, please? Wherever you go in life, it is always expedient to be the most frightening thing in the room. Know what I respect? Little kids making strange noises for no discernible reasons. Don't enjoy being at close range, necessarily, but I do respect the heck out of it. You mean like when those Girl Scouts were growling at each other? That's what Girl Scouts do. You get two more in the vicinity and they'll be growling. It's a territorial thing. And also ways members of the same pack identify each other. Girl Scout things. We all have that one haunted stuffed animal whose memory is best left buried in the dredges of repressed childhood memories. <sighs> Bradley. Goat, have you ever, like, seen someone take physical damage from something you said? Oh, in boarding school, I taught myself to read the Korean alphabet without telling any of my international student friends. Later, we were hanging out in someone's dorm and I picked up a Korean newspaper, started reading it out loud. Sho Chung fell off her bunk bed. Korean alphabet is really easy, it's like the best in the world, you should try it. I bet you can't give me anxiety from Silly String. You know, one time I could smell the scent of Silly String emanating from the walls, and I just assumed that meant the clowns were coming for me. It turned out my AC had gas leak, which I'll take any day over the approach of the withering clown horde. <laughs> oh, God! I've noticed a trend in life. The larger a thing is, the more likely it is to be evil. 
This applies to companies, YouTubers, people, and mountains. In case of dogs, the direct opposite is true. A notable outlier. <gasps> A powerful forest spirit visited my yard. Come closer, mortal. Tell me what you most desire. I most desire to give you a little kiss out of your head. I just noticed something! Astrum, star, nada, sailor. Astronaut literally means star sailor. How cute is that? Neil Armstrong is Sailor Moon, confirmed. I had a dream that McDonald's had a big ad campaign that just said, We have it! in black cryptic writing. So I went to the drive-thru and said, I saw the sign, can I have it? And the speaker was silent for a solid ten seconds before saying, Do you think you're ready? In my voice! And I screamed and drove away. An inchworm that makes an accordion noise when it moves. OP, change your URL! Dark TV shows. Happy Tree Friends! <laughs> I, I think Netflix is broken. How is this a dark TV show? I don't understand. It's not! It's not! It's not! Netflix is not broken! Son, no mother. I must dance. Did humans invent math or did we discover it? Like, does math even exist? I already regret making this post because smart people keep messaging me trying to explain math and it's making me nauseous. The universe did some weird shit. Then humans were like, I got you now, motherfucker. We got numbers and shit to figure it all out. And as punishment for this hubris, God fucked up physics so hard we still don't know what's going on. Some fucker decided they could just start counting things and it all went downhill from there. Today I got into an argument with my aunt because she was upset that her daughter was dating a girl. So I said, do you really think you should fall in love with so much genitals over their soul? Because that's shallow and sad. And my 75 year old grandmother who was sitting in her rocking chair, who hasn't said a word for the past hour screamed, ow oh, burn, and hit my aunt with a fly swatter. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the fly swatter, fuck, god damn it. Why did the movies come out four, five, six, one, two, three? I'm in charge of scheduling. I was. That's it! That's the best Star Wars joke ever! I swear- Wait a minute, is that really why it's that? Is that- Was that some joke? George Lucas, was that some joke? You think you're funny? He's flat whining, Dr. Uwu. Sees light at the end of the tunnel. Nani kore? Yeah, I want to be a 1930s radio host. Can you imagine? Gray three-piece suit, gray hat, cool old microphone, getting to say all those silly horse names all day. Mr. Mulaney, is that you? My mom just told me to cremate her and put her ashes in an hourglass so even after she's dead and gone, she can continue telling me how much time I'm wasting on this site. Dang. <laughs> well, so you both get burned in the end. You did not. You just... How dare you speak of my mother in that tone of pun! Man, nature's beautiful. Isn't that a croissant? Nature is beautiful. Kids work together to create ETERNAL RECESS. Hashtag community. Cat, you can't have your paws in the water dish and drink off your paw. You can just use your face in the first place. I wouldn't be told what to do. Use a photo already on your phone to describe the gay agenda. Quick, while God's not looking. You know, every time I see your blog, I just get dad vibes. Let me make that worse. Did you win the game, son? Did you craft that Overwatch in the Fortnite? Social media has been a boon for me. An egotist in need of perpetual validation with a crippling distaste for in real life interaction. Okay, boomer. Listen, you just ground me into dust. No Ruth, no mercy. My time on Earth was short. Feed my ashes to the sea. Tumblr, stop threatening to eat my ashes! Professor Jiggly is loose in the cat room. Professor Jiggly! No Practically one out of ten comments on the GOAT video asked me to do this, so. It's pucky time! If you were to vacuum up jello through a metal tube, well, I think that'd be a neat noise. I beg to differ. Then beg. Wait a minute. I like to laugh. He likes to laugh. I'm... Joker? Tell me a joke, please! Wanna know how I got scars? No. Ugh, first you want me to say a joke, then you don't. Make up your mind! Wait. You're not the same person. Am I smelly? Yes, but don't feel sad. You can be a bog witch! Those are pretty neat. Were you in Smash? I don't know where I've been. Shout out to people who don't hurt my feelings! Okay, worm. You are my greatest enemy. I will add a single grain of sand to your room every day until you succumb to the desert. I love you, Pucky. Thank you for making me laugh and smile. I don't know how often you hear this, but thank you. You're my best friend. I will add a single grain of sand to your room every day until you succumb to the desert. Pucky, you make music? What's your music setup look like? Bam! God. Damn, Pucky, tag your poem. Hey, today's a brand new day. Oh, crap, it's 6 p.m., never mind. 
It's 12 a.m. somewhere. If time and space didn't revolve around me, maybe. Lately, I've been feeling like a lot of what I read makes no sense, but for some reason, you make a lot of sense for some reason. You know, people are trying to be right no matter how wrong they are. I'm here accepting my primal desires. Damn, that is a quote of the century. Babies are really like... <laughs> Father? Why does this have 2,500 notes? Why do you have approximately 3 trillion cells in your body when they could have been mine? That's a fair point. Feeling highly ambiguous tonight. Like in a sexy way? Like in a... So yes. Your blog is... Funny and funny is good, thank you. You sound like a robot learning emotions for the first time. And he's doing a good job. I'm so fucking proud of my robot son. Hot Dog Time Machine, one of the best movies this summer. Good post, OP. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are everything I aspire to be. Aspire to be slightly better so you can overcome me and kill me. You know what? No more football. What the fuck is football? Ha! Success. No, but what, what's football? I feel like I've heard that, but what? Pocky, what did you do? I feel like Jesus would be boring to talk to, to be honest. I'd be like, you like Nintendo? And he'd go, I love bread with nothing on it. You know, you say that, but he literally made wine for a party once. Sounds pretty entertaining to me. Yeah, box wine. Can I get a cursed fact about space? If you go there, you die. My ex-girlfriend fucking stole my tax evasion hoodie. Shit, she stole that like we steal from the government. Damn, cash evasion. Can't have shit in Detroit. Priest at my funeral. He was cringy, but also top doge. You mean dog. I don't speak for priests. I'm going to shit your pants! Just try it, bud. I'll counterspell you and make the whole world shit their pants. What's your most controversial opinion on pastries? <sighs> Too much cream makes me scream. That's what she said. She died six years ago, Brayden. You need to let go. Please. Brayden, the crash wasn't your fault. On the count of three, we all beat the shit out of Brayden. Three. Two? You're safe this time, Brayden. You know what you're not safe from, though, Pucky? This creamy pastry, ooh ooh. Oh, God! If the devil has a pitchfork and the Grim Reaper has a scythe, is agriculture a major industry in the underworld? Thanks to Persephone, it is. You can't spell pleasant without ant. Thank you for this information. You're welcome. Do you want to know something else? Um, yes, I think so. Ants are small. Th thanks. Oh my freaking god, the brown one has angry eyebrows! Yes, this is my dear friend. Dear friend is pretty like snow. You hurt dear friend? I will hurt you. If I pay for an endless buffet, I expect fish sticks. Where are they? Why? Why fish sticks? Why would Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of the most visible scientific figures of the 21st century, want something that cannot be considered actual food? Tell me, Mr. Tyson, where on the fish is the stick? You have no idea how many planets there are. Last night I had a dream that Ben 10 and Danny Phantom were introduced into the MCU via the PG-13 Deadpool Christmas special. Oh yeah, and also that the PG-13 Deadpool Christmas movie was secretly a way to officially introduce Deadpool into the MCU. I mean, why wasn't it? Describing the actual plot of Dracula to someone sounds like lying about the plot of Dracula. Dracula gets stabbed to death by a cowboy. Girls will say they know a spot, then take you to the sacrificial altar. Girls will tell you, there's this really great place, it's a bit of a walk, but it's worth it. Then lead you to the middle of the forest and leave you there. Did... did something happen? <sighs> Can I get back to you on that one? I'm kind of being hunted for sport right now. You know, girls. Take your smileys from normal to unsettling in one easy step by putting a little too much effort into the eyes. I mean like this? Color. I'm sorry, that's not spelled right. Proof that the British are not real. Americans. Ah, oh, that's not spelled right either. Well, duh, you typed it wrong. Americans! That's better. Yeah, they're such capitalists. Did you just... Being a human is so confusing because you're basically an animal with a soul. So sometimes you're like, am I experiencing a profound spiritual desolation or have I not eaten too much for breakfast? It's impossible to tell. One time I legit cried because I felt like none of my friends liked me and then I ate sushi and was fine. Humans, we still animals. The older you get, the more you appreciate just chilling at home doing nothing. It's called being exhausted.
when you get cornered by the school bully, so you send one last text to your Minecraft girlfriend, but his phone vibrates. This is a thousand times better than any Hollywood movie's twist ending. Bored? Study eyes from random characters. What anime is that last one from? Gravity Falls. Me, starting a new game. I'm going to be evil this time. Me, five minutes into said game. Being mean is not nice. Me, when my mom asks to go buy groceries. An evil wizard does a quest. And when your sibling comes with you. Rise of the Chaos Wizards. I have seen cat girls in real life. Where? <laughs> yeah, okay. Here's all the cat girl locations I know. And here's Bigfoot cell number too to top it off. Pfft, get lost, buddy. I'll never reveal where the cat girls are. Yeah. This pick is about to make me lose my life. Eight-year-old me coming to tell my mom I threw up at 3 a.m. Why? Why is that exactly what that looks like? Zeus. Ugh, I gotta go home, horrible bitch, if I don't. Aphrodite. I'm gonna go to Ares. I don't wanna go home to my ape of a husband. Poseidon. Yeah, I'm gonna see if Demeter's home. Hades. I'm going home to my wife because I love her. That's why I married her. Yo, what do centaurs do with their arms while they run? Don't fuck me up like this. Oh god, they made it worse. Deploy the boy. Boy deployed. Why is there a crab on a tree? It's a coconut crab and they love to climb trees. Throw a Pokeball at that shit. Hey, rate my alternative history map where Chile becomes a world power. Quebec was just completely deleted. Quebec isn't real. What happened to Greenland? God, I love maps designed to piss off literally everyone. A witch is a magic user with more focus on medicine and the body. And a wizard is a magic user with more focus on like physics and academia. I don't know what dingus made up one day that they were just the two magic genders. That sounds stupid. All right, let's take it further. Witches are magic doctors. Wizards are magic researchers. Artificers, magic engineers. Alchemists, magic chemists. And sorcerers, magic YouTubers. What about warlocks? <sighs> magic sugar babies. Some girl in my class was talking about the McDonald's shamrock shakes, and this yeehaw dude in cowboy boots said they suck. And then he looked me in the eyes and said, What you gotta do is go to Arby's and get yourself a mint chocolate chip shake. And he said it with such authority and certainty that I did as soon as I got into my car. I see your concern, y'all, but this wasn't a man telling me what to do. This is a man who had important knowledge and shared it with me. He was aiding me on a quest I didn't even know I was on. You fool, that was Arby himself. I fucking hate game night with the engineering graduates. Don't get me started on poker night with the math students. Yo, Monopoly with business majors is the fucking worst. Scrabble with English majors is a nightmare. But no matter who you're with, Cards Against Humanity is always great. Until the psychology majors get a hold of you after playing. Oh god!